This video will again be one of those short videos I hope and we're just going to get right into it with diminishing marginal products or DMP. Pretty much what you need to know is that by increasing one of the inputs, labor, human capital or physical capital, uh, the thing that's that we talked about before, they were actually important. By increasing one of them, uh, we increase the output but at a decreasing rate. So GDP growth rate is decreasing and an example of this would be uh, would be one person one person makes uh, one person makes 10 bikes and then if we add one more person then two person two people two person two people makes uh, makes 18 bikes 18 bikes and if we add one more then we have three people we have three people and we have three people, and three people makes makes uh, 24 bytes. So you can see that uh, when we had one person, we made 10 bytes by uh, adding one more person, we get eight more bytes, we increase the input. But if we add another person, uh, we get uh, 24 bytes. Again, we increase the input, but now uh, the change is six. So we're increasing uh, output, or uh, yeah, we're increasing output but at a decreasing rate. So what I meant was output. We, we, inc we add one more person, we uh, increase the output, but at a decreasing rate. So the second thing I want to talk about is the constant returns to scale, or CRS. And what you need to know for this is that by increasing all the inputs, increasing labor, physical capital, and human capital by the same variable, that increases output by the same uh, variable as well. So pretty much what I mean is uh, that if we double our inputs, so if we double our inputs, then that that pretty much equates to doubling our outputs. Then we double outputs, and that's all you I want to teach you guys for today. Uh, please rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, look forward to the next video where we'll do more work with. Uh, labor, human capital, and physical capital. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time.